So in this video, we're gonna bounce around London and bring you three different, well, different things, I think is probably the best way of showing you, um, that you can find around London. And we're gonna start here in the area of Notting Hill. And this is right by Notting Hill Gate. And as you can see, it's the Coronet Theatre. And right outside on the drains, they've actually put some prose, which has been written by Margaret Drabble back in 2004. And what it reads is, Behold the glittering coronet of diamonds, tears and dreams. So it just goes to prove not only when you're in London do you need to look up to make sure that you see everything, but you also may need to make sure as well you look down because you never know when the humble manhole might be something you need to have a good look at. Right, here comes our second one. Now this is the Temple Bar, and it was a principal ceremonial entrance to the City of London from the City of Westminster. In the Middle Ages, London expanded city jurisdiction beyond its walls to gates, and these were called bars, which were erected across thoroughfares. Now, to the west of the city of London, the bar was located to the area known as Temple. Temple Bar was situated on the Royal Historic Ceremonial Route from the Tower of London to the Palace of Westminster, the two chief residences of medieval English monarchs, and from the Palace of Westminster to St Paul's Cathedral. Now that's where this is right now, which you're looking at. Now, the road east of the bar within the city was Fleet Street, while the road to the west in Westminster was the Strand. So there are two other ones which we'll cover in later videos. Now at the bar, the Corporation of the City of London erected a barrier to regulate trade into the city. And that's what this is. In the 19th century, the Royal Courts of Justice were located to its north, having been moved from Westminster Hall to its south is Temple Church, along with the Inner Temple and Middle Temple Inns of Court, which we've covered some of the Temple Inns already on other videos. Now, Temple Bar strictly refers to a notional bar or barrier across the route near the Temple Precinct, but it is also used to refer to the 17th century ornamental English Baroque arch gateway attributed to Sir Christopher Wren, which is this one, which spanned the roadway at the bar for two centuries. And after Wren's gateway was removed in 1878, the Temple Bar Memorial, topped by a dragon symbol of London and containing statues of Queen Victoria and Edward VII, was erected to mark the location. Now, Wren's archway was preserved and re-erected in 2004 in the city in the redeveloped Paternoster Square, which of course is right next to St Paul's Cathedral. Now for our third and final strange thing in London, in this video, we bring you the Thin House, or otherwise known as Five Thurlow Square, which is over near South Kensington. And believe it or not, this is a block of flats. Now, the triangular building is six feet, 1.8 meters wide at its narrowest point, which is what we're looking at right here. And it was built between 1885 and 1887 by William Douglas on an area of land left over after the construction of the South Kensington Tube Station, which is literally just down the road. The building was initially used as artist studios, but now it's a block of flats, and just look how narrow this is. Now, the good news is there's a bit of perspective here because that's the narrowest point, and as you can see, the building gets wider, but not much wider. So I wonder how much one of these places goes for in rent. Absolutely incredible. So to put this building into context, I'm six foot tall and you've got bricks around it, so I couldn't fit laying down from one end to the other at the narrowest point, which is quite incredible. I hope you've enjoyed our look around three strange oddities from London. And we've got so many more to come during 2024. I'm gonna leave you with a video up in the top right hand corner, showing you some of the other places that we've been to show you some of the other oddities in London.